Mating rituals in the animal kingdom are fascinating, diverse, and at times utterly shocking. From intricate courtship dances to violent battles, animals have evolved an array of behaviors to ensure the survival of their species. We will explore 20 animal mating rituals that will leave you speechless. These rituals range from the impressive teamwork of African wild dogs during courtship to the synchronized dance moves of penguins. We'll also delve into the complex social dynamics of chimpanzees and the unexpected monogamous relationships of seahorses. Some rituals are more gruesome than others. The redback spider, for instance, has a self-sacrificing approach to mating that involves being devoured by the female after insemination. So get ready to be amazed and intrigued as we take a closer look at 20 animal mating rituals that will leave you speechless. Without further ado, let's get started. Hyena mating. Have you ever heard of a female animal with an eight centimeter in length penis? Well, these fascinating creatures have unique anatomy, unlike anything you've seen before. Female hyenas have large external genitalia that resembles a penis. Hyenas use their pseudo penises, not just for peeing and mating, but also to show dominance over other females. It's like having a secret weapon in the animal kingdom. Female hyenas are the dominant sex. During the mating season, male hyenas would approach a female who is in heat and attempt to mount her. If the male is persistent and manages to mount the female, he will need to navigate her pseudo penis. This can be a difficult process as the female may clamp down on the male's penis with her pseudo penis, making it difficult for him to withdraw. In some cases, the male may even be injured or killed during the mating process. African Wild Dog Mating in African wild dogs is a complex process that involves several stages. The dominant male and female individuals within the pack typically mate and produce a litter of up to 20 pups. Once the female is pregnant, the pack will take on a nursery role, with members caring for the pregnant female and her pups. After the pups are born, the pack will help care for them, regurgitating food to feed them and providing protection from predators. In addition to their unique reproductive system, African wild dogs also engage in a behavior called social monogamy, which means that the dominant male and female individuals will form a pair bond and remain together throughout their lives. However, this does not necessarily mean that they are sexually exclusive, as they may mate with other pack members as well. Overall, mating in African wild dogs is a complex and social process that involves cooperation and support from the entire pack. Zebra mating. During the mating process, male zebras will often bite the necks of females. This behavior is thought to help keep the female still and prevent her from running away. Female zebras often engage in a behavior called teasing, where they will approach a male and then run away, enticing the male to chase after them. This behavior may help females to choose a strong and healthy mate. Once a female has mated, she will carry her foal for around 12 to 14 months. When the foal is born, it is able to stand and walk within minutes. One of the biggest threats to zebra foals after birth is predation by lions. Lions are the primary predators of zebras and they will often target vulnerable foals. However, despite the risks, zebra foals have a relatively high survival rate, with around 50% of foals surviving to adulthood. Chimpanzee mating. Chimpanzees are one of the few non-human animals known to engage in face-to-face -face copulation, where the male and female directly face each other during mating. Female chimps have been observed to use sticks and other objects to simulate sexual acts, suggesting that they may also engage in sexual behaviors for pleasure and not just reproduction. When a female is in estrus, she becomes highly attractive to the males. Unlike many other primates, chimpanzee females are sexually receptive year-round, rather than being restricted to a specific breeding season. Chimpanzees also engage in courtship behaviors, such as grooming and embracing to establish social bonds and potentially improve their chances of mating. In addition, females have been known to initiate mating by presenting themselves to males, often with vocalizations and body postures. In some cases, males will engage in behaviors such as offering food or sharing tools with females in order to court them for mating.
Mongoose mating. During mongoose mating, the male often approaches the female aggressively, biting and scratching her neck and back. This behavior is believed to be a way for the male to assert dominance and maintain control over the female during copulation. During mating, the male mounts the female from behind and grips her by the neck. Copulation may last from a few seconds to several minutes and may be repeated multiple times over several days. After mating, the male may remain with the female for a period of time to ensure that no other males mate with her. After mating, the gestation period for mongooses is around 60 days, and litters can range from one to six pups. Mongoose pups are born blind and helpless and rely on their mother for warmth and nourishment. The father may also assist in rearing the young as mongoose colonies are known to exhibit cooperative breeding behavior. Ostrich mating. The mating rituals of ostriches are a spectacle to behold, with females being incredibly choosy in their selection of a mate. The females put the male through a rigorous test of his stamina, leading him on a chase where he must keep up with their impressive speed of 40 miles per hour. Ostriches are known for their unique and elaborate mating ritual. The male ostrich will perform a dramatic dance to attract a female mate. If the female is impressed with his performance, she will join in the dance and the two will mate. During the actual mating process, the male will mount the female and rapidly move his tail feathers up and down while making a booming sound. This helps to stimulate the female and increase the chances of fertilization. Ostriches are known for their monogamous mating habits, with a pair usually mating for life. Tiger mating. Tiger mating is an intense and often violent affair. The male tiger initiates the mating process by rubbing his head and body against the female's flanks. If the female is receptive, she will allow the male to mount her. Copulation may last up to several minutes, during which the male tiger holds onto the female's neck with his teeth. Tigers are not social animals, and males and females typically only come together for mating. In the wild, mating season for tigers usually occurs between November and April. Interestingly, female tigers are capable of induced ovulation, meaning that they will not ovulate until they have mated. This ensures that the female's eggs are only fertilized by the strongest and most dominant males. Male tigers have been known to kill cubs that are not their own in order to bring the female back into estrus and increase their own chances of mating. Antichinus mating Sex can be a life-giving force, but for the male Antichinus, it's a deadly one. These small creatures engage in intense mating sessions that last for up to 14 hours straight. And while this may sound like a dream come true for some males of the human species, for the Antichinus, it's a fatal endeavor. These tiny creatures spend the majority of their adult lives in search of sexual partners. During mating season, they mate with as many females as they can find, often engaging in sexual activity for hours at a time, without any breaks for rest or food. The male Antichinus may be willing to sacrifice his own life for the chance to pass on his genes, but for humans, the consequences of such extreme sexual behavior can be devastating. It's a reminder that while nature can be beautiful and awe-inspiring, it can also be brutal and unforgiving. Redback Spider Mating Male Australian redback spiders essentially sacrifice themselves after mating with a female. During copulation, males purposely position their abdomens near the female's mouth even though they are aware that she will most likely consume them. Only around 30% of male redback spiders survive their first mating. Most males do not survive their first time mating, as they have a short lifespan and are likely to die or get eaten by a predator before making it to another female's web. The female is often more than 100 times bigger than the male. Despite this vast size difference between males and females, the mating process is still successful. During copulation, the male redback spider will climb onto the female's web and use his pedipalps to transfer sperm to her reproductive organs. Despite the risks involved, male redback spiders continue to mate with their much larger counterparts, ensuring the survival of their species. Peacock Spider Mating The male peacock spider's courtship dance is a matter of life and death. If the female spider dislikes the male, she may quickly shake her abdomen or attack and eat him up, making courtship a dangerous affair for the suitor. 
However, in order to mate successfully, the male must perform an intricate dance using a brilliantly colored fan attached to his abdomen. Male jumping spiders are not very selective and will attempt to court any female they come across, even if she's a different species. The female signals her approval or disapproval by turning towards or away from the male. If the female approves of the male's dance, he may be allowed to mate, but if she isn't impressed, the male will become her next meal. This high-stakes courtship ritual is a fascinating example of the lengths that animals will go to in order to reproduce and pass on their genes. Penguin mating Emperor penguins have a unique and fascinating mating ritual. Every year during the Antarctic winter, these penguins gather in large groups to mate and lay their eggs. The mating ritual of emperor penguins begins with the male penguins calling out to attract the attention of the females. Once a male has successfully attracted a female, the pair will perform a series of courtship displays. These displays help to establish the bonds between the male and female and ensure that they are a good match. After the courtship displays, the female emperor penguin will lay a single egg and transfer it to the male, who will keep it warm by holding it on his feet and covering it with his brood pouch. While the male is incubating the egg, the female will leave to find food and return several weeks later to relieve the male and take over the incubation duties. Peacock mating Peacocks perform a complex dance during mating season to attract a mate. The male will approach the female with his feathers spread wide and tail feathers held high. He will then begin to strut and display his feathers, often circling around the female to show off his full plumage. If the female is impressed, she may respond by fanning her own feathers and moving closer to the male. Once the female has chosen her mate, the two will mate and the male will fertilize the eggs that the female lays. The male does not provide any parental care for the offspring. Instead, the female is solely responsible for incubating the eggs and caring for the chicks once they hatch. Peacocks are known for their longevity, with some individuals living up to 20 years in the wild. This long lifespan allows them to mate multiple times throughout their lives. Bears mating. Brown bear mating is a complex process that occurs in the late spring or early summer. When the bears emerge from their winter hibernation and begin to establish dominance hierarchies and mating territories. One of the most striking aspects of brown bear mating is the competition among males for access to the females. Dominant males will often fight with each other for the right to mate with females in their territory. And the winner will typically have exclusive mating access to those females. Mating can last for several minutes or even hours and can involve multiple copulations over the course of several days. After mating, the female will typically become pregnant and give birth to her cubs in the winter den. Brown bears have a relatively low reproductive rate, with females typically only producing one or two cubs per litter every other year. Raccoons mating. Raccoons are nocturnal and solitary animals, but they do come together to mate. Matings usually occur in late winter or early spring, with a gestation period lasting about two months. Male raccoons, called boars, will actively seek out females, called sows, during this time. Boars will use their sense of smell to locate sows, often traveling long distances in search of a mate. Once a boar has located a sow, he will engage in a variety of courtship behaviors to attract her. If the sow is receptive, she will respond to the boar's advances by vocalizing and assuming a receptive posture. Female raccoons will mate with multiple males during the mating season, resulting in litters with multiple fathers. Males, too, mate with multiple females. They play no role in raising the young and will leave the female shortly after mating. Sandwich turns mating. Sandwich terns are seabirds that engage in a unique mating ritual involving a courtship dance. During this dance, the male will approach the female while holding a fish in his beak. He will then offer the fish to her as a symbol of his ability to provide for her and any potential offspring. If the female accepts the fish, it signals her interest in the male and the two will proceed to mate. However, if she rejects the fish, the male will have to try again and look for another potential mate. 
The courtship dance is a crucial part of the mating process for sandwich turns, as it helps establish a strong bond between the male and female and ensures successful reproduction. In addition to the courtship dance, they engage in other mating behaviors such as displaying their distinctive black crests and bills to attract potential mates. Sea Lions Mating In this clip, a sea lion can be seen forcing itself upon a penguin, which stunned many. Now, penguins may not be the primary source of their food, but they have been known to eat penguins. This particular behavior is unexplainable. Sea lions are known for their unique and interesting mating behaviors. During mating season, males establish territories on beaches where they can attract females. Males use a variety of tactics to attract females, including barking, growling, and even fighting with other males. The actual act of mating occurs in the water, where the male will mount the female and copulate sometimes on land, too. After mating, the female will give birth to a single pup about a year later. Interestingly, male sea lions have been known to display homosexual behaviors during mating season, including mounting and attempting to mate with other males. Maybe that explains this clip. Seahorses mating. Seahorses have one of the most unique reproductive systems in the animal kingdom. The male seahorse is the one who carries and gives birth to the offspring. Yes, you heard that right. The female deposits the eggs into a pouch on the male's abdomen, where they are fertilized and develop into baby seahorses. The male carries the developing embryos for several weeks before going into labor and giving birth to hundreds, sometimes even thousands of tiny seahorses. During the actual mating process, the seahorses intertwine their tails and perform a sort of dance to transfer the eggs from the female to the male's pouch. It's a delicate process that requires precision and coordination, as the eggs must be carefully positioned within the pouch to ensure proper fertilization and development. All in all, the seahorse's reproductive system and mating behaviors are truly unique and fascinating. Hippo mating. Hippos have a unique mating behavior where the males will use their massive jaws to display aggression towards each other. They will open their mouths wide and make loud snapping sounds to intimidate their rivals. Once the dominant male has established his position, he will engage in a series of courtship behaviors with the female. These behaviors may include blowing bubbles, vocalizing, and touching noses. The male will also mount the female in the water, with both hippos submerging their bodies while mating. Interestingly, hippos are also known for their ability to hold their breath for up to six minutes while they are underwater, which is an important adaptation for their mating and aquatic lifestyle. Despite their aggressive behavior towards each other during mating season, hippos typically live in social groups of up to 30 individuals and have been known to display cooperative behavior in caring for young calves. Sloth mating. Sloths, known for their slow-moving and sleepy demeanor, have unique and interesting mating behavior. They are solitary animals, and their mating habits are no exception. They only come together for a brief period during the breeding season, which occurs once a year. During the mating season, the male will emit a loud mating call to attract a female. Once the female is ready to mate, the pair will climb down from the trees and engage in a slow and gentle mating process that can last for several hours. Unlike most other animals, sloths mate while hanging upside down from a branch. The male will use his long arms to grasp onto the female while mating. After mating, the male sloth will go back to his solitary lifestyle and the female will carry the offspring for about six months before giving birth to a single baby. Panda mating. Giant pandas have a unique mating system that involves females being in estrus for only 24 to 72 hours per year. During this time, males will compete for the opportunity to mate with females. Mating can be a tricky process as pandas are solitary animals that do not often come into contact with each other in the wild. Therefore, breeding programs in captivity have been crucial for the survival of the species. Once a male panda is able to successfully mate with a female, the pregnancy lasts for around three to five months. Pandas give birth to one or two cubs, but it is rare for both to survive. Female pandas are known for their excellent mothering skills. 
But in the wild, mothers will often only raise one cub at a time. Despite their popularity and iconic status, giant pandas are considered a vulnerable species due to habitat loss and low reproductive rates. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing content. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.